better listen to me else you would have no luck to live from tomorrow your sister pushed you to the floor as she left your arm which she held why would i have to marry him don't you love him you asked her as the tears dropping down from your eyes i loved him till i don't know he was disabled and you know one thing he cannot perform in bed she said and locked her lungs hard before sitting on the couch so that's why you're forcing me to marry him your love towards him was fake you asked raising your voice slightly but quickly fell silent when her mother answered what do you expect from your life do you want a prince to marry listen wayan we don't want to waste our efforts to raise you more we have already gave you so much of life now it's your time to pay back she sounded so arrogant and also insulted you he remained silent as he didn't have courage to talk back to her you know she would punish you if you say anything against to her you wasted our money all these years at least you should be thankful to me for letting you marry a rich guy and you don't need to go college from tomorrow she said flipping her back while narrowing her right eye like a bad girl in every beautiful story then you looked at your father who sat silently on the couch without even stopping them dad will you say one thing i don't want to marry him please You asked in a very pleasing tone with tears in your eyes but his answer made you more saddened. Okay, don't marry him. Let our Kim family go bankrupt. You will be happy, right? From his voice and facial expressions, you understand he was stressed about his company and he will do anything to save it. He was not thinking about your future because he was thinking about his company. No no I will marry him you said lowering your head as you were controlling your tears Great you are great all the best wine and don't forget he should not know that you are replaced bride else our company would go bankrupt okay she said as she bent slightly in front of you and raised your head with her index finger You nodded silently looking down where a satisfied smile appeared on her lips You are forced to marry your sister fiance because she rejected him after knowing about his disability but you are forced because you are not the biological daughter of Mr Kim whose company was in bankruptcy now You are the daughter of his younger brother As your parents died in an accident when you were a kid, your father's brother, Mr. Kim, took your parents' wealth and pegged it as his own property. He not only took your property, also took your freedom, everything. But he never failed to take care of you. He treated you well, but not much as Sana. Sana and her mother treated you as their slave, even though they are enjoying your wealth. As you didn't have anyone to rely on except them, you bear everything silently. But now Sana is back off, marrying the grandson of John Group of Industries because he was disabled. And John family didn't know about you. They took advantage of it and forcing you to marry him in place of Sana. After two days on your wedding day, you stood in the altar after lowering your head as your eyes were ready to shed tears because you were scared. As the priest finished reading words, Miss Kim Wyan, would you like to marry Mr. Chan Jungkook as your lawfully wedded husband? He asked while you looked at your father, who was glaring at you to agree. Yes, I do. You agreed, even though you didn't like to marry him. Mr. Chan Jungkook, would you like to marry Miss Kim Wan as your lawfully wedded wife? 
Jungkook remained silent for a second as he stood in front of you with help of his secretary and also with hand stick. I do. That was enough to raise your heartbeat as you knew the next ritual would be a kiss to complete the marriage ceremony. Mr. Jungkook, you may kiss the bride. When he said about kiss, you immediately clutched your wedding gown. as you didn't want to lose your first kiss to someone you don't love you stood there closing your eyes and lips tightly jungkook stepped forward to you and opened your veil which was covering your face all this time then he leaned closer to your ear and whispered something don't expect too much from me miss He said in a serious tone and stepped back after pecking on your cheek. Then you opened your eyes and looked at him, who was glaring at you already. In the ceremony, your name was said instead of Sana because they knew you as a daughter of Mr. Kim, not with your name, so it didn't create any problems. Also, Sana didn't attend marriage, as Jungkook's family should not know the truth. and there were no other guests in the hall as it was only between your two families and here wedding was finished even jungkook came to his house the whole ride was silent as you were sad about your marriage and also jungkook was not into you as it was clear from what he said during marriage secretary He ordered his secretary to bring a wheelchair for him as he wanted to get off the car. Jungkook didn't mind about you and went inside after sitting in his wheelchair which was operating with a battery and he doesn't need anybody's help to push it. You felt bad when he didn't even glance at you at least as a human. As you already habituated to many insults, you sighed and got down from the car holding your wedding gown. You slowly entered inside the house and were welcomed by his mother with some mocking. Oh, bride Wyan, how was your journey here? I guess you should be happy for marrying a big shot. She said with a fake smile on her face, "Where you got it already?" Yeah, she must be. Go, go to your crippled husband. He must be waiting for you in his bedroom, Mrs. Han. He called maid to show you Jungkook's room, so you went following her. You didn't understand why they were behaving like this. You accepted when she mocked you, but you didn't understand how his father called his son like that. But one thing you saw on their faces and that was jealous. They must be jealous and angry about something. But you didn't say anything as you were scared of them. You entered inside the bedroom as the door was already open. You just observed the room by standing in the middle of the room. Then a voice came from the bathroom. Get me a towel, he said in a commanding tone as if he was ordering you, but you stood silently. thinking he was not calling you which was true can't you hear me get me a towel this time he said a little louder where his voice was coated with an anger which was the result of his impatient is she calling me you thought to yourself and quickly went to the bedroom after grabbing the towel which was nicely folded on bed He slowly walked inside and extended your hand forward, lowering your head, as you didn't want to look up at Jungkook. Your towel? What the heck? Who told you to bring it? He flinched with his roaring like voice and fell in the bathtub, or you can see on his wet and chest. He slowly lifted your head up and looked at him, who was already looking at you annoyingly. I- I'm sorry. He tried to get up but again slipped and fell on him to raise his anger more. What? Are you not getting a grip to get up? 
He silently nodded, looking down, but inside his heart was beating fast after seeing your face, which was wet with the water droplets. Your chest was attached to his as you were on him. I know this is your plan to seduce me. Seduce? You quickly lifted your head up at him as you shocked to hear him. Don't act like innocent. I know about your cheap tricks. Secretary, secretary. His secretary who just entered the bedroom came running to the bathroom as he understood something happened with his boss's angry tone. Sir, ma'am, take this stupid girl from here and where were you all this time? I asked you to bring a towel, but why did she come? I'm sorry. You somehow got the grip from the edge of the bathtub and came out from it. You didn't expect he would talk like this and his behavior was so bad towards you. Learn some manners before entering inside someone's bathroom or bedroom. He said looking at his secretary but you understood it was told to you. So you quickly left from there as you felt bad for insulting by him. He stood immediately from the bed as Jungle came out of the bathroom in the bathrobe. What are you looking at? Come and dry my hair. He looked at him confused for a second and went to him to dry his hair as his secretary gave you the towel and walked out of the room. Did you think you can live like a princess? He asked as he rubbing his hair gently with the towel. I'm sorry, he said as he didn't understand what he was talking. Why are you acting innocent? I know about your plans. Don't worry, I will not let it happen. He laughed at you and went to the closet, telling you to stop drying his hair with his action. After Jungkook dressed up and went to his working room, as he has some urgent documents to sign. God, why do I have to go through this? You took my parents from me and left me alone. I lived in hell all these years, even though I'm rich with my parents' wealth. I thought at least I would marry a man who can give me all the love I missed. But you again sent me to another hell? Mom, Dad, I miss you. You are crying, closing your mouth as you didn't want someone to hear. Your eyes turned red as you are crying for so long. It was night came downstairs as you felt happy to be alone in the bedroom. You saw the maid was setting table for dinner. Mrs. Han? Yes, ma'am. Do you want anything? She asked with a smile as she poured water in a glass. No, no. You can call me by my name. By the way, why no one came here, uncle and auntie? We asked about Jungkook's parents as they didn't show up anywhere in the house. They went to their house in the afternoon, dear. Means they won't live here? No, dear. Actually, Jungkook's son's father married to another woman after his mother in an accident. But there were no good terms between his grandfather and stepmother. That's why they left this house. But come here when there is any occasion. From this you understand why they behaved with you like that in the morning. Also you understood Jungkook's father doesn't love him anymore. Oh, but where is grandpa? You asked as you didn't see him after the marriage. I'm here dear, I'm sorry. Because of some urgent work, I went to my office. You both soon you saw him walking towards the dining table. He was coming from outside. It's okay, Grandpa. You must be tired. Have some water. You said and gave him a glass of water. Thank you, dear. By the way, do you like the home? Feel free, okay? You should not be hesitant to live here. From today, this is your house too. 
He said, smiling at you, where are you giving him a fake smile? Then why don't you write this property on her name? She must be waiting to enjoy this. He said as he came there in his wheelchair. But this grandfather got angry and became serious at him. What are you talking about, Changbuk? There should be a limit for sarcasm. You don't mind him, dear. He must be making fun. You smiled at Grandpa and looked at Jungkook, who was already looking at you seriously. Later, you three are seated for dinner. Grandpa insisted you to sit beside Jungkook, even though you refused. You were clearly understood that Jungkook was not into this marriage, and even he hates you, but you don't know the reason behind it. At night, you came to the bedroom along with Jungkook, who came behind you. Don't try to butter my grandpa. I knew about your intentions. Gold diggers like you neither get my money nor my love. You felt humiliated by his words, but you didn't have another option except weeping silently and accepting this life. You sleep on the couch. He said strictly and went to the bed to get up from his wheelchair, but he slipped back into his chair. So you went to him quickly to help. Let me help you. You held his arm, but he jerked. No need, I can do it myself. He said seriously and sat on the bed after getting up from the chair. And you silently went to the couch as you felt bad. You tried to help with humanity, but he refused your help. As he said, he slept on the couch that day. A week has passed. Jungkook was not liking your presence at all. As he understood with his actions, even though he stopped shouting at you day by day this week. But you saw him being sad many times but didn't ask him, as you know about his behavior towards you. One fine night, you were sleeping on the couch. Jungkook, who woke up for drinking water, came to you as he saw you are moving on the couch because of the cold. He took the thick blanket and covered you in it. Girl, are you the one I know? Why am I feeling bad for you when I shout at you? Even after knowing about your evil intentions, still I am feeling something for you. Maybe because you are taking care of my grandpa well. Your friendliness and patience, I hope what I knew about you was not true. While talking with you silently, tears swarmed in his eyes unknowingly. He sniffed to control it and went to his bed again. Next day, Jungkook was going through some papers related to a new process. His secretary entered inside with a big news. Sir, sir, a big mistake had happened. What happened? We are looking tense, he said as he saw his secretary who came with a phone in his hand. Sir, look at this video. I have made a big mistake. Jungkook took the phone from him and went through the video which was playing. And the video is about Sana and her boyfriend Son, who was the stepbrother of Jungkook. Son slapped Sana for not marrying Jungkook because they planned to kill him and own his property. Before marriage, this conversation was happened in a bar between Son and his friend and secretary recorded secretly and showed it to Jungkook. Because of her, Jungkook thought you were a girlfriend of Son, who was the reason for his disability. But now with this video, Jungkook got to know that you are not Sana. What the heck, how did you do this big mistake? All this time I thought she was the girlfriend of Son and humiliated her. Ah. Uh, a big mistake has happened. My heart was saying something is wrong, but I didn't know it was this. She is innocent. God forgive me. He immediately started feeling guilty. He would have felt guilty a little if he knew it before, but now he was feeling more guilt because he started falling for you with your innocence and behavior towards everyone in the house. He couldn't stop him from following you. 
I'm sorry sir, I didn't check this. He apologized as he lowered his head. On the other hand, son, who came to you was trying to misbehave with you as you refused to help to Jungkook. You know you are looking so beautiful than your sister. I should have seen you before her. Don't worry, after Jungkook, I can give you all the pleasure. He said sucking his lower lip in a way but you disgusted about his presence. Why would I help you do, huh? I will never help you. He may be disabled but not like you. He is good at heart and gentleman unlike you. You are such a... You said with a disgusting expression. He quickly held your breast and tried to hold your waist but before that he was kicked by Jungkook from behind and made him fall in the pool. How dare you touch my wife? Jungkook immediately pulled you into his embrace, wrapping hands around your shoulder. Ryan, aren't you alright? He wiped your tears as you cried because of Son, who scarred you like hell. What? How can you walk? Aren't you disabled? Do you think I was? I know you tried to kill me, but I don't have proof. That's why I acted like disabled, but now everything has been recorded. What you talk with Ryan? You're a liar and stupid. Enjoy in jail, brother. Actually, Jungkook and his secretary were searching for you to apologize you, but then the secretary saw you near the pool and recorded everything. At last, he told Jungkook, I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry about everything. I didn't know you were replaced in Marius. I thought of you as Sana and told all those things. I'm promising those were not meant for you. He apologized and feeling guilty as tears swelled in his eyes. It's okay, you don't know, right? I was also wrong for not saying the truth. Even though your words hurt me, I can understand those were not for me. Please don't cry. It doesn't suit you. You said smiling a little and was about to walk 